10 reasons the ICOM 705 just may be the most revolutionary ham radio we've seen to date, this time on K6UDA Radio. So the idea for today's show comes directly from Doc Pearson, uh, and the comment section on the K6UDA Radio YouTube site. So let's put the cheaters on and get right to it. For you QRP fans out there, I see they have released the new ICOM 705 for about $1,300. But for about $450, you could get a small, lightweight, QRP size Zygu G90 transceiver with an internal antenna tuner that is so good it could possibly tune up the head of a lettuce. Well, that's pretty impressive. It's got an antenna analyzer, a waterfall, and up to 20 watts. However, if you save up all your hard-earned money for an extra $850, you can actually get an ICOM 705 with no antenna tuner. $850 more of my hard-earned money and no antenna tuner? Well, Doc, Let's talk about what, how much that antenna tuner is worth in the grand scheme of things and what I think the possibilities are for this thing. All right, Doc, first uh, to your points. Yes, I have the Zygu 5105, uh, much like the G90, nice little radio, sub $500 kind of price tag or right around at 500 bucks retail. You can't beat it for that kind of money. What it doesn't have is a world-class receiver. Enter the world-class receiver in the form of an Elecraft KX3. I've owned this guy for many, many years. This is serial number 2462. It's been around for a long, long time. I've done lots of upgrades. Yes, I upgraded it with the PX3, so I have a pan adapter for it. I have an amp for it. I've got the whole shebang. I've added things to this since I bought it, but I'll tell you what, you pay the big price for this. This is big dollars, and between the KX3 and the PX3, there's well over $2,000 right here. As good as the KX3 is, this is, again, old technology by today's standards. This is the ICOM 705. New technology by anybody's standards in the world of ham radio. It uses basically the front end of the IC7300, which is arguably one of the most popular HF uh, radios on the market today. And before we get any further, let's just address the elephant in the room. Yes, no antenna tuner with this radio. But then again, the IC7100 has never had an antenna tuner on it, and nobody even said a word about it, and this thing has been out for 10 years. As far as not having an antenna tuner, you know what? I play with things like the Slink Tenna. I use them resonant on one band, maybe two bands at most, and I might bring two backpacker antennas, two end feds, which are resonant to the bands in which I wanna work. This is pretty much the IC7300 and 9700 rolled into one radio in a QRP package. What you have is an SDR radio with uh, all the same features of the 7300 and the same features with the 9700 combining all kinds of cool stuff in one QRP package. An integrated world-class pan adapter with this radio right on the screen. You see, yes, I own a PX3 for the KX3, but that is an added expense plus an added piece of equipment that I've got to haul with me when I want to use it. 
So generally when I go somewhere where space and weight are a concern, this does not go with me and that way I just don't have a pan adapter. Integrated Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. This, my friends, I think is going to be a game changer, an absolute revolution and game changer in the ham radio world. Some of the things that I could think of off the top of my head, fire up your logging program on this. It goes out to the Wi-Fi on this. It uses everything, it connects up, makes a, makes a connection. Your phone now grabs the frequency you're on, the mode you're on, enters it all in, to, uh, into your phone, into your logging program, and away you go. You start logging your contacts like that. Want to use your phone to, uh, to be an auto keyer for CW, maybe translate that CW for you? You could do that with this. You don't need to build the technology into this when you've got it on here. How about using the Bluetooth function to set up a keyer? So maybe you don't even have to have, you can have a wireless keyer to this, or maybe even a wireless microphone. So you don't even have to have a mic input. This can just power by itself and everything else can be self-powered next to it. How cool is that? For us satellite guys, how about a program that operates off of this, something like GoSat Watch. Program the radio to the right frequency for the satellite that's about to come over and tell you where to point the antenna and all you need to do is point the antenna. You could even use the GPS in your phone and maybe some kind of an APRS link in an app. Have the radio make contact with ISS. The possibilities are freaking endless. And for you current ICOM fans that have been uh, using the ID51 for years and years, pull off those cheap extra batteries that you've got, the extended batteries like this, and you could plug it in right into, it's a sandwich box. You could plug it right on the back of your sandwich box and it'll power your <laughs> ham radio finally entered the 21st century welcome usb charging yay the icom 705 finally is the first ham radio to allow usb charging from a cable that is fantastic news because now uh, we can charge these things up in the car. We could just basically plug them in to an existing USB outlet. Lord only knows why they didn't do USB-C. Maybe they got a good reason. I don't know. This is a full SDR radio in a QRP box. Very, very cool. The possibilities there, unbelievable. This radio will do 160 meters through six meters on HF. It'll do two meters, it'll do 440, and it'll do D-Star through the whole spectrum. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you could play on all the different modes, AM, FM, sideband, D-Star. You could do that on HF, you could do it on repeaters. How cool is that? That makes this an absolute shack in the box. But now you say, but this is not a shack in the box. It can't possibly be a shack in the box. It only has 10 watts and it doesn't have a tuner. Throw a portable amp into the mix, much like the Elecraft amp here, or maybe even a Zygu amp. And uh, you know what? with the built-in tuner here, this turns this into that full 100 watt shack in the box with a tuner, with everything you want. HF, two meters, 440, D-Star, D-Star on HF. This now is a complete package. All right, guys, those are the 10 reasons why I think the ICOM IC705 is going to be the most revolutionary radio 
in a long, long time, and I think it is going to actually set the bar for ham radio going into the future. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you agree with me, if you disagree, if you think something else is the most revolutionary. I don't know. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification right next to it, even though maybe bell notifications don't do anything anymore. But be sure and uh, share this video everywhere you can because I don't know what YouTube's doing. Check out my Patreon and my PayPal links below. Uh, consider contributing to the show. Remember, everything goes back into the show and I am trying to put together some very, very cool stuff just for the patrons. If you've got an email question or comment, put it down there. There's the email link. I don't have anything else. Um, I will see you next time. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here, 7-3.